Unmirror that baby. Let's get you in there. Ah, shit, hold on. Fuck, hold on. God damn it. Whatever. Um. Minute timer. Let's crack a lacking, folks. Um, okay, now, now we're now we're good. What's going on? Little fucking crooked there. Cry fell. Whatever. Hello, Marty McFly. What's going on? Ugh. Okay. It is footbot day. All my Ronin figures fell. We have Raph. We have Karai, who I mostly fixed. I mostly fixed Karai. Her waist, at least. And the, the rest is just her own uh, elbow. She's not necessarily the best stander. Fuck, I hate, I hate spindly ass figures. That's why generally the Ronin line is like super rad because it's so, so thick. Um, but we have the footbots. How's everybody doing today? Sorry, distracted. It's not necessarily all the Ronin collection, but kind of basically is. I'm trying to think of it. Because we've had regular Ronin, shirtless Ronin, Sinja, Raph, and Karai. I think that's about everybody. And of course I swapped off the Casey arms to make like a cool, sexier Sinja. Which is what all the coolest people do. Um, Karai, she's, all, she's fine. The Ronin figures, obviously super stellar. I have some the the rogue derelict ronin going on there um then we have shirtless ronin with the mummy mikey head which i think really sells the whole decrepit old ronin and we have raf i didn't make a video on raf just because i've been lazy i'll probably combine it with the whole like footbot thing but raf is probably one of the best figures they've ever made just because he's so dope so cool but the, the new one is this footbot here which is i think the best footbot design frankly this is number 10 they've they've released them all sorts of out of order i do have three footbots because i ordered um i ordered a set of three because i figured why not i was going to army build anyways so might as well go for it you can see beautiful packaging there Little little footbot. Should we get into it? Of course we should. How's everybody been doing? I like to go. I don't know. I guess it's smarter to go from the top. I have three, so I don't know why I'm being like delicate of the packaging on this one. I guess it's just who I am. Um, I have all these receipts. Show you one tip if you want to open the flap without like mangling it you just stick anything under it because you know how you open the flap and it like bends it I, I know some folks also don't like that you can kind of do that thank you for the gift andrea thank you so much except this one oh, not bad Ah, oh, shit, everybody's joining too quick. Kyle Rays? Uh, seems vaguely familiar. How you doing today, Andrea? Nice food? What food? What's this food everyone is speaking of? Where's, where did I put the fucking thing? So we have, we have our boy here. Let me draw you in closer. Ooh, rogue. 
Very nice. I haven't played... I've, I've played Rogue... I think a little bit like a week ago. I'm pretty good. I cut my hair. Ta-da! Nice little haircut going on. Otherwise, just working away. Opening some toys on lunch. That food you're showing us? I mean, I guess... Oh, the foot? I mean, I guess you could eat it if you wanted to. So there's... There's a lot of ties on this guy. I don't have my usual nippers. I don't know where I can't remember where my nippers are. I haven't been using them for a bit. I do. I cut my own hair. Can you believe it? I mean Just don't look at the back. I can't I can't really influence how the back goes. Thank you for the gift. Turtley. Turtle, I guess. That's fancy turtle. Thank you so much. But yeah, since like the whole like COVID thing, I started cutting my own hair. And after a while, you just get addicted to it. We are not surprised. I know, right? Like, honestly, I don't know. Unless you want like a super specific haircut, I really don't think it matters all that much. But I like my hair enough. A finger heart. Thank you, Andrea. So look, we can we can get this spindly boy out of there. This is a pretty cool one. I think this is the coolest the coolest foot design ever. Like even has like the head you see like little little kind of like foot symbol going on on the pants your birthday is tomorrow well happy early birthday country that's super cool lots of great detail like he has like two sheaths for his sword he has very very pointy shoulder pads can you do the splits did I get here in time? It would seem so. It would seem so. You're going to get vintage Star Wars figures? That's pretty sweet. Shout out to Floby. Floby is a genius idea. I've never had a Floby, but man, if you've cut your own hair, you know that hair gets fucking everywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> full Townsend, you love to see it. Double jointed elbows. I think also the wrist or the forearm is meant to come all the way off. We'll see later. You can you can swap in different arms. We did the splits going back, going forward, and then I believe also okay, single jointed knees, just because the way it's like a robotic knee. And then the foot has a pretty standard foot, I think. It's rocking around. So yeah, pretty dang cool figure. I don't know, I just really love... I think this is how all foot soldiers should be. He does have ab crunch, too. People love... I'm telling you, people love, like, ab crunch so much. He can, he can bow. Do the head. When you say vintage Star Wars figures, what's vintage these days? I mean, because technically, like 20 years ago was vintage, and then there's like vintage, vintage. All right, hold on. Let's get him to stand there so I can show you the cool accessories. Okay, so what do we got for accessories? We have, he has one head that is just like totally fucked up. Like he's, he's been through a bad time. Eventually vintage becomes antique, that's true. He has one sword here. Hey, let me just, let me just get them all out, maybe. And then I'll show you.
battle damage. Yeah, yeah, it's super cool. Okay, okay, and then he's got those. That's why I got three of them, so I could you could do like a more fun scene. And I ordered it, I swear to God, months and months ago. And it, it finally shipped, so. Okay, okay. All this shit back here. So you have this battle damage head. What was the price? Um, it's like $36.99. I got it from a store called Amuck Time Toys. Um, pretty much every comic book shop at this point should have them. So it was Amuck Time Toys, $36.99. I got three. Here's a, here's a different head where it's like you get like a ripped off neck if you want, but you can do yeah, it's it's a it's a comic shop in like Pennsylvania, but they have an online store. Um, I believe they have them in stock, but if you have any like local store, you can check them too. So like you can do like a like a damage, like his eyes falling out and whatnot, which is cool. And then you have like just like a spare neck if you want to pop up the extra head. Ow, kind of sharp. Which way am I putting it on there? I think this way. Like so. That's cool. And then he comes with two sweet, like, swords. I guess they're katanas, very nicely detailed. They can go. He has little holsters in the back. Like so, because he's styling, accessorizing. He does have... So here's his, like, battle arms, right? Because he's a robot. He's a robot dude. And his arms can go into, like, robot mode. Which is super cool. Like I can't, I can't remember the comic super clearly. I don't know if, if they really get into it, but now it's like a canon or something. So you could do that on each one. What's up, Trixar? How are you doing? Thoughts on Loyal Subjects, Team NT? I think Loyal Subjects are pretty fantastic. Um, Big Bad Toy Store, yeah, they have them too. Like, yeah, generally some of the comic figures they don't necessarily do wide release like Target right away. So it might take a little bit. Um, yeah, Big Bad Toy Store has a ton. So his cool... Did I just replace the same? I don't know what I fucking did. I think I, like, lost track of what I was doing. So here's his two arms like that. You got the Leonardo and his sword broke. They gave Robot Dude a tube top. Hey man, it's it hot. It probably overheats. So he has, he has two of his like, you, you need the classic like karate hands. And then he has the two like grabby hands. And then he has two like holdy hands is what I'll call them. But great detail on the hands. Pretty sweet. Thank you for the likes. Thank you so much. What Leonardo of yours broke? Oh, the the Loyal Subjects one? Yeah, I've, I've heard that a lot. Um, I think they're great figures, but I have heard of a lot of breakages. Um, I mean, hopefully you could get it replaced or like a refund. But for generally... Um, you can also... Like, how much you pay for them, I think they're pretty okay for, like, 20 bucks. But it, it definitely sucks if they break. I don't know. It, I guess it could work as, like, a cannon. But it, it's also cool if you do it as just, like, a longer arm. He's 
kind of he's like kind of creepier and wilder. Reminds you of Metalhead's hands. You can slide the sword in there. I think. See, look, this that's like a Lucy grab hand. What you really want is this tighter grab hand. Really, and the fingers are pretty, pretty pliable. How you doing, Pardon? Have you read One Piece yet? If not, you're still dead to me. Who's here? Who here has read One Piece? And if, if not, why have you not read it? God. One Piece is the greatest story ever told. No lie. He also has two fist hands. That were on. Sorry, I'm back. These these earbuds they trigger like a Bixby command with with fucking Samsung. I hate it. So fucking annoying. Nobody uses Bixby. Look at that. So you can have him stand in there if you want to do some comparison. So here he is next to Raph. Like, did they just become best friends? Probably. Worth it? I would say so. Like, the detail is really good. Um, nothing fucking broke immediately. Like, he, he works pretty smoothly. One kind of fun thing is the knee kind of goes forward a little bit. Which is funny. Um, like, that's kind of a cool thing you can do if you want to do some, like, messed up battle scenes. But I think... Yeah, I don't know. I think this figure is rad. One Piece is so good. One Piece is the best comic ever. No lie. You need a last Ronin movie? That would be pretty cool. And then we have, like, the Sinja can hang out with the footbot. Even though the Sinjas came much later. But the last Ronin line is probably one of their best lines. Generally, generally all the last Ronin figures are super solid. Um, I just think Karai sucks. Is all. Are Sinja people or cyborgs? Um, both. They're like, like, they're synthetic ninjas. So I guess you could. You could say they're like fake people or like robot people. Um, but like when their mask breaks, you can see like an eyeball and stuff. So I imagined there's just, there's people um, underneath. Androids? Yeah. Like, I mean, a cyborg would technically be like a human. Um, so I'm pretty sure the, the, the Sinjas are human underneath it all. To some degree, unless it's like a synthetic human. Let's see, there's Karai. See, she's like, get him, get Wrath. Is that the last Ronin Wrath? It is indeed. Like, he's like a shorty. I do like how, you know, he's a bit shorter than Karai. Cyborg is more like human mixed with robot stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, in, in the comics, they're pitched as sinjas, synthetic ninjas. I can't remember if it goes into detail, like, how human they are. Um, but they're, they're some kind of human. Uh, Raph and Karai I got from AliExpress. So these were both from AliExpress, though Raph has been popping up in stores along with Karai. I mean, all your usual places, really. You should be able to find them. Um, Sinja, Best Buy. And then the footbots I got from Amuck Time Toys. But you can get them pretty much everywhere. I mean, she is a dead ringer for Electra. Like, that's, that's a straight-up Electra figure. Um... There's no, there's no two ways about it. Why will it not focus? 
There we go. Do you have the other turtles? I mean, at the moment, um, for the Ronin line, this is all there is. Other than, like, Leo should be coming out soon, seemingly. But you have, like, the classic at this point. You have the Ronin himself, which he'd be fighting the Sinjas. You'll post your collection. Right on. Right on. Cowabunga indeed. White Sinja. Yeah, White Sinja hasn't come out yet. So it's Eastman's design. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's technically like Ben Bishop who drew the artwork for it. Or not, I mean, Ben Bishop... Like did some of it. It's there's a there's a mix of different artists, but a lot of these figures, um, like the the comic book itself was obviously like written and designed um, by Kevin Eastman. These figures, the Last Ronin, Ben Bishop did a lot of the art, and he did he did you know certain bits of the Last Ronin as well, along with the Escorza brothers. So. But these figures itself are more specifically the Ben Bishop designs. I think you can see. See his name there. Um, McFarlane, Spawn. McFarlane's pretty dope. He did early Mitch... Early merch stuff? I don't know who we're talking about there. Uh, the IDW series relaunch. I don't know, it's interesting. Um... I think the the 150 issues definitely ran their course, and so I'm ready for something new. But, you know, we'll see how it goes in those issues in a few months. But yeah, all these figures at least. There's a ton of artists who worked on The Last Ronin. Um, but yeah, the Raph figure is probably one of the best they've done. He's just, he's a neato figure. I was too lazy to get all his accessories out, but he's a he's a dope he's a dope guy. Waiting for Gorilla Gorilla. Yeah, I have that one pre-ordered from Super Seven. That's gonna be a super fun one. But Raph Raph is just really neato. A toy photographer. Yeah, I have a lot of friends who do the toy photography. I do some um, when it comes to like thumbnails and whatnot, but I kind of I kind of get lazy. I need to hurry and get him to me already. Which one? Yeah, Ben Bishop did the artwork too, um, which is super dope. Like you can see, like all the different foot bots. In action scenes, I also collect Transformers. I have some Transformers too. Oh, shit. No. And I also have... <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what you say. That's the coolest... That's the coolest possible Ronin head. Like a, like a mummy fucked up Mikey. Because it's not even that mummy, really, when you put it on there. And it fits the body super well. Oh, Gorilla Gorilla. Yeah, maybe that would be this year. I know at, at like, one of the cons... Um, they showed him off. I guess it was Comic-Con at this point. Maybe. Cody T. That is me. I am Cody T. That's correct. Are you a party wagon member? The old party wagon? Yeah, that's what I go by on the party wagon, just for funsies. The Cyborg Kong action figure. The Cyber Kong. I don't know that one. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, that's probably meant to be like a gun, huh? But this guy is just dope. Cowabunga says it all. I like the Blue Hawaii. Turtles 3 is the better one. Turtles 3 is the best movie. Nobody will ever convince me otherwise. Where is other fist? How's everybody doing today? 
It's been a while since I went live. It's been... Fuck, I didn't, I didn't clock out for my lunch. God damn it. So fucking annoying. Oh, well. I think my timer, that can't be right. 30 minutes is what we're at. You have storm collectibles? No storm collectibles. Um, I've, I've mainly tried um, to stick to TMNT just to not go too nuts with the wallet. You know, I haven't done necessarily a super great job of that as of late, but what can you do? Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That really sucks, but you know, medicine these days, there's always a way. So things could always get better. I feel like I have... Like, some folks have talked about these figures, like, like paint coming off. I don't know if you can tell. But I've definitely got, like, some smudges of paint. Just not a, not a huge deal. It's just odd. Really. Ronin figures. Yeah, the Ronin figures, I think, I think the Ronin line is their best line, frankly. Like I can't, I can't wait to get the rest of them. He said, "With the type of the cancer, it's so rare." He will say, "Didn't sugarcoat anything." That sucks. That really sucks. But you know, there's also like, there's like different like trials and like specialists and stuff. So you never know. So hoping for the best for you, dude. That really fucking sucks. Look at that. Definitely get yourself some Ronin figures. Like, use that to make everybody buy you shit, at least. The rest of the Universal Monster Turtles, those are good. Where the fuck did I put them? I think I put... Did I put Raph away? I think I put Raph away temporarily. You only have Mikey? I mean, you definitely just you milk it. When life hands you lemons... Milk it <laughs> is, is what I would do, you know. I would go to restaurants, and when they bring you the bill, be like, I, I got cancer, I gotta go to the bathroom, and just fucking leave. What are they gonna do? You know, what are they gonna do? Nothing. I think I did put Wolfman away. Hold on, let me see. No, where the fuck did I put Wolfman? Oh, you know what I did? I think I have Wolfman in the turtle van. No, where the fuck? Hold on, wait, wait a moment. Ha! Here's Wolfman. Wolfman is dope. Yeah, the art on the wall, a lot of that is turbo pork. Um, he's the same guy. He does a lot of the Super 7 art. So I have, I have like a whole bunch of it going on. And some even higher. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm just like a huge turbo pork fan. What up, Johnson? Johnson in the house. But yeah, I mean, NECA, their newer stuff is fantastic. I think sometimes they get a little lazy and reuse some, like, really old-style bodies. You got cancer, can you have my collection? You know, if you, if you, pretty much, I mean, that's a hard question to answer. Or if, like, you're in the checkout line, after they check out, just be like, hey, like, take their stuff and be like, I got cancer. You know, at least probably half the time they're going to be too stunned to fucking do anything. Your footbot you have posed hands up like a boxer. Like, because you never know. Like, tomorrow the doctor could call you and there's a cure. Um, and then you can't use the cancer excuse anymore. So you got to fucking, you got to use it now. You have to strike while the iron's hot. 
You'll probably have to go bald right away because you have to really sell it. Can he leave it back to Cody in his will? I've always thought it would be cool to be buried in my in my coffin with all my toys. And like have an open window coffin, so I'm like open, open package. You're already bald from chemo. Well, there you go. I mean, that sucks, but now's your chance to really milk it. Yeah, the foot, that's a good idea with the foot soldier boxer. steady and then we can do wrath boxing him yeah it's a it's a I, I completely recommend this figure you wish you could take your collection everywhere you go a lot of people do like um like i have a lot of friends who do like a fanny pack thing and they'll they'll use that to like take fix fuck take figures with them and carry them around so you could you could do that I don't know a lot of boxing poses necessarily. Can you show off Wolfman? Sure. Let me. Yeah, so Wolfman is pretty damn sweet. Like, I just, I love their Universal Monsters line for sure. Like, this is his standard head sculpt. You can see he has, like, the Larry Talbot, like, wolf head cane thing. I am, too. He has the sweet, like, the furry shell. You can see, like, the, the, the pentagram star. Yeah, the sides are dope. Like, this one, he has, like, a bone sigh. Right? So it's all very detailed. He has the pocket kind of slanted. And then the cane side. I don't know. I just think the Universal Monsters line, where they really go wild with like the fun references, is just so cool. Like super neat. And he's just, he's hairy all over. He's got like the, the big wolfy claws. They even did... Not that it necessarily works so well, I don't think. And you got to be careful with the size. Um, but so he has like the standard legs, but they get, they also gave him like the wolf foot articulation, which I haven't found lets you do much, but it has that like extra kink in the leg. What do I think of the last Ronin storyline? I think it's pretty awesome. I'm excited for the sequel. Um... Because I, I like the new Turtles. I think they're really rad. Um, I thought Lost Years was fantastic. Have you seen that Old Man Casey custom? I think so. I feel like, Are you talking about... Um, it's Griff with a Gift, I think, is his name on social media. Where he did like... He did like the Joel body... Um, it's my pleasure. I always, I, I try to go live every day, but sometimes work screws me. Um, can we see the rat from TMNT? The rat splinter? I do have a splinter conveniently, like right behind me. I mean, I have the Van Helsing splinter this this dusty fucker um yeah yeah i have seen that one that one looks really good that's a that is a great um little combo he did so there's like this is the true like comic splinter like the mirage splinter he's a cool little dude he's so he is very little he could ride on like Hold on, let's let's do something here. Are you worried about getting your account banned for cursing? Absolutely fucking not. You can curse all you want. Um, no. Who's my favorite turtle? Sorry, I haven't been ignoring you. Um, 
generally probably Mikey, but it, it depends. Um, look, he's kind of doing like the Ratatouille thing. Oh, fuck. Fuck. What's good, gang? Uh huh. Jesus. That's quite an account. But you know, in like Ratatouille, where he's like controlling him by the hair? That's cool. That's a cool combo. Um, the Ninja Turtles on Netflix with Batman in it. Yeah, the Batman versus Team NT. That's a good movie. That's probably one of the best Turtles movies, honestly. Do some pictures like that. I think I definitely will. I need to now. So, you guys witnessed the birth of this. So, thank you to whoever. I have a goldfish brain, but whoever wanted to see Splinter, that this was your doing. Do you have any of the newer turtles? What are the newer turtles? Like the new Mirage turtles? In their comic line? The new movie one? I do have the... Yeah, they're all... I mean, yeah. Technically, they're all new. So, like... You have to be a little more specific. God damn. The only thing I don't like about thinner figures is they, they their center of balance is fucked, so they fall, like, immediately. Yeah, take care, nameless fame. What's your name on the party wagon? I mean, I guess if you don't want to give it out, that's fine. Um, but I'm curious now. Come to my island, <laughs> free TMNT figures. Which free TMNT figures? Chad M. Right on, right on, man. Thanks for joining. Very cool. <laughs> I also see your name is Jerfrey. That's funny. The Party Wagon is... Um, it's a Facebook group. Um, probably the best face up Facebook group. It's the TMNT Party Wagon, I think it is. Um, like, if you send me a message after this, I can, like... I could send you the link to it. It's just like a Facebook group. It's a great place to like get like in on the deals. His twin, Jerfrey. That's some like Rick and Morty shit. Um <laughs> What's the Michael and Pikel? Jeffrey and Jerfrey. Every time I get money and allowance from my mom, I go buy action figures. Hey man. Basically every time I get <laughs> fucking paid, that's what I do, so. Some stuff never changes. So, I assume you meant this, Raphael. So this is the last Ronin Raph. Probably mechanically, one of the best figures they've ever done. Um, it's a little wonky, but like he has like double-jointed legs. Like, he's just... He's pretty damn sweet. You love to get the money and spend on what else my collection? Yeah, I mean, low-key buying shit is about as fun as it gets in life. I resell items, I find a good price, and that's how I buy my figs. Smart, smart, that's very smart. Um, I generally don't sell stuff, because, I don't know, I, I usually only buy stuff I really like. So, I, I usually end up with all stuff I don't want to lose, ever. Um... But maybe, I guess if I ever needed to, I would sell it. He's buff as hell. Yeah, this Raph, last Ronin Raph is definitely... He's a very, he's a very beefy lad. Um, Leo isn't out yet. Leo should come out, I don't know when, but sometime this year, maybe the next month or two. I think he's all made and ready to go. But my least favorite... Um, I'll say this figure... Just cause, oh shit, oh no. Um, it broke on me. Like, you can see, like, the torn elbow. I need to, like, really super glue it and just, like, fuse it. So it's fine. It's not a bad figure. I just think they could have done better. Thank you so much for the gifts. You really don't have to. Like, I appreciate it so much, but... The old man person, Casey Jones? Um... What about old, old man Casey Jones? Oh, do you have the guy with the hockey mask from TMNT? I do. I'll show you. Um, I do have a Mirage Casey. You can see what I actually did. 
God, everybody fell over. Um, so, let me, let me show you. The, the Sinja, one cool thing about this Sinja bot figure is they made it so the arms can come off. Are those your drawings? No, this is from an artist called Turbo Pork. He does a lot of like the artwork for Super 7. Super nice guy. He'll like I bought those prints from him. He'll like sign them for you and shit. So yeah, he he does a ton. Um Not a single message. Ignored twice. What's up, Curlo? You have to keep in mind um on TikTok, it only shows me like three messages at a time. So, you know. But. Mich magician type photographer, contact juggler. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of, that's a lot of hats. Um, but look, um, so like they made it so the arms can pop off and the same way with Casey too. So it just so happens I mean, I'm sure they did it, like, on purpose, or whatever. But, it just so happens that their arms... Do you have Shredder? I do have Shredder. Um, their arms have the same exact socket size. So I swapped them, because I think they look cool. Do you like Amazing Yamaguchi? Amazing Yamaguchi is pretty rad. I don't have any. Um... But yeah, so here's a Casey. And so he still has, like, the Sinja hand, but, you know, still cool. He still got it. Um, leave him armless. <laughs> yeah, so you can do the Sinja arms. That's why, and again, because the whole Sinja thing, I, I think it makes sense to give him Casey's arms. But this is technically the real Sinja that we got going on. That's how the Sinja's supposed to look like, minus the hand. But like that one. So the Sinja is a really cool figure. God damn it. Do you have a big Ninja Turtles collectible? Um, not really. I, I've never really got like the giant figures. I've thought about it like as they go on clearance and stuff, but nah. The one action figure you're looking for is Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack would be dope. Um, I'm sure at some point they made some figures, but like some new Samurai Jack figures would be super cool. I would, I would love that quite a bit. But yeah, so here's, here's Casey. Good old Casey Jones. Do you have an April? Um... I got a Super 7 April. I'll actually probably like open tomorrow because unfortunately I only have like an hour for my lunch. Um, but I don't really have a ton of Aprils. I have like the Bride of Frankenstein April. Um, did I fucking drop something? But I have the Super 7 April. I, I've never, I haven't gotten into the tune line so far. Your dream goal in all this is saving your collectible used to have a place of my own where I can only. Yeah, I mean, you definitely run out of space for sure. So, like, the more space, the merrier, and you can build your own, like, museum. Are you talking about, like, your own shop? Do you have the Ronin Mikey? Um... I mean, they don't have, they don't have, there, there is like a, a, a last Ronin era Mikey before he turns into the last Ronin where he looks more like, you know, normal Mikey. So otherwise I just have stuff like this, like the shirtless Ronin with the mummy Mikey head. And then of course, like the last Ronin himself, which is actual Mikey. Can you see my shredder? Here, I'll show you. I'll take y'all on a little tour. Fuck, hold on, shit. Let's see here, let me do, 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 through the magic. It's in the kitchen. Yeah, right. Um, so here we go. 
So that's technically that's a the Mirage comics shredder battle damage at least. He's he's that's veteran William. That's a different series. Um, there's the other comic turtles they have. Right. Um, there's clone shredder right there. There's a ninja or there's a regular foot. And that's why I just think, I don't know, the one handed is dicey. I just, that's why I think like the foot bot ninja is just so much cooler because it's everything cool about the foot. The beast looking guy, that's a guy called veteran William. Um, it's, um, Furay planet. It's kind of like a third party figure. Um, and I bought I bought these extra clothes, like old timey clothes. No, it's not Team and T. It's a it's just a separate thing. I just I thought it would be fun to put it there. Um Fure Planet from Maestro Union is is the series called. Um The Foot Crown. No, Playmates. Playmates used to Playmates still does the TMNT toys, but that's the comic one. So there's um there's a Utrom Renette with another like clone shredder. And then here's the Super 7 shredder with like the classic Playmates. And this is the when I was talking about Turbo Pork, like Turbo Pork did this art the same as he does this stuff. Or that, like this is all the same, the same artist, Turbo Pork baby. Then I have actually, that's the one I got. Yeah, Super Seven. I love me some Super Seven. They're always doing cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I have some more like Mirage figures, and there's there's some other heads for Casey. And then, what, Savanti Romero? Hellboy Turtle? Yeah, Turbo Pork just, he does such cool stuff. Like, he also has, so he did, that's like the TD Toss and Leo, but he did an alien one, which is so cool. That's Turbo Pork. Just so cool. I have some Krang. There's the there's the Batman, the Mikey is Batman. And then you can see kind of some of my assorted shit over there. There's there's Phantom Casey. Do you have a Bebop and Rocksteady? Um I have the Super 7 um Bebop. I need to get Rocksteady. There's Turtles of Grayskull. I think those are super dope. I switched Shredder's legs with Beast Man. But they're super cool. Here's a part you can see. This part uh, I had to take off for the clothes, but you can see like more wolfiness because under under his clothes he has just he's a straight up wolf. <sighs> yeah, I don't have all. I just this is my only Ghostbusters turtle I have. Um just the one, but then I have like the wrestling turtles. If you like your Don with hair. And then <laughs> Rowdy Roddy Piper as Mikey. Yeah, this was, I think, I don't know, it depends where you got them. And prices go up all the time. So this was like last year or so. It was like 60 bucks, which is very expensive, but all things considered wasn't too bad. And then I have, you can see my Team T3 box there, which is dope. When did you start doing this? Um, I mean, I've technically collected all my life. Then I have more, like, Super 7 Turtles over there. And a bunch of other shit. Um flip camera yeah so I've, I've technically been collecting all my life um obviously a lot when i was a kid and then i kind of stopped for a while 
and then probably like two years ago I started buying figures again and I obviously I've gone off the deep end and I have a real fucking problem but you know what are you gonna do what are you gonna do the first one I got um the one that got me back into collecting was actually a super seven mutagen man why do we not see Phantom Casey just sitting at your table with you? Um, because he's just a pain in the ass to get out. Let me let me show you. So there, there's Phantom Casey. Your Ronin's goggle strap broke? That sucks. That sucks a lot. But... You could maybe fix it, the pain in the ass, but you could fix it. So there's there's the rest of my Universal Monster Turtles. It's just sometimes it's a pain in the ass to get them all down. So there's there's one of my only April figures. And my splinter is busted. But that's fine. Like so. But yeah, there's there's proper Mummy Mikey with Raph. Invisible Dawn, the greatest Leo of all time, Hunchback Leo. Are you an 80s kid? That's when the best figures came out. Um, Yeah, I mean, tail end. I guess technically, like, I'm more of a 90s kid, but I was born in the 80s. And then Creature Leo is super dope. Do you have Space Turtles? No Space Turtles. I do have some 2012 Turtles. Um, but not the space line. Do you have Surfing Mike? I have, I have the Super 7 version. Samurai Leo, Surfing Mike, Space Cadet Raph. 90s had the best looking toys. Creature Leo again. There you go. Are you falling in love with Creature Leo? Is he staring into your soul? Give him a kiss. <laughs> the Stranger Things 2-pack. So I have like Hopper and Dustin and Lucas there. And then... Where do I have the red? I think that's all of them actually, right? And then I have Eleven and then the Mirage Turtles they did, which I think Playmates did an awesome job on the Mirage, their own Mirage skirt. Don't judge you. Hey, man. Who among us hasn't made out with Creature Leo in the dark of the night? Who among us? Your respects for 90s kids? I don't know. I think now is the, the best time. Don't get me wrong. Like, these are my favorite turtles. Probably these chonkers. Um, where are the gargoyles at? No gargoyles. Though I have a lot of friends who are super into the gargoyles. But yeah, Playmates, I think... Look how dusty these are. I need to... One thing that you don't realize about your collection is everything gets filled with dust. Yep. I wish they would reissue him, but apparently it's just not going to happen. But... No Revoltech TMNT. None of that. No, no Revoltech. Um, Transformers. I do have some Transformers. You can see this is my all my YOLO Park stuff that I've been filming lately. There's He-Man Leo. I just have a bunch. So, you know, I haven't collected Transformers in years. But I've been getting more into like the YOLO Park minis. Are the Playmate Turtles good quality? The ones I just showed, like the Mirage ones from the Stranger Things 2 pack? I mean, I would say so, but they're they're cheaper figures. Um, they're fairly sturdy though. Dude, I I love the Motu figures. Have you valued your collection? Not really. I don't really collect for value. So I've never looked into it. But this is Leo with the Beastman armor. I think the, the Turtles of Grayskull are freaking awesome. Do you have all the last Ronin? 
I think so, except for the white Ronin. I think I have all the Ronin figures. Like, NECA did a white Ronin. I have the Playmates last Ronin. Do you have a Ghost Rider? No Ghost Rider. <laughs> I have read the... The last Ronin comics are very good. Um, but yeah, I do... Let me flip... How do I flip the fucking camera? I always forget. Um... Aside from the white Ronin, I, I think I do have all the Ronin figures, including, like, Footbot, who's going to box you out. Hold on, I think that's my timer. Yeah, shit. We have five minutes. Let me... Clear. Try our timer page. Yeah. Sorry. Freaking don't get a day job. If you have a day job, quit it. They suck. <laughs> no Ghost Rider. I, I take it Ghost Rider is like your favorite figure. I'm, I am very in love with Splinter controlling um, Wolfman Raph, like Ratatouille style. But yeah, so we have a few minutes more. I highly recommend the, the footbot, the last Ronin footbot. Like, incredible detail. The best figures you can get for 40 to 60? Um, I mean, it depends what you're looking for, but I, I would say generally NECA, like, super... I mean, the detail and the look on NECA is super fun. Um... For turtles, there, there's a hell of a lot of turtles figures, so depending on what you're wanting, that could vary wildly. But, you know. Like, between the brand, I really think... Like, it, it works with hands, but I think that's supposed to be, like, a blaster mode. Right? Which paint? Um, I haven't done any painting. Um, yeah, so any anything you've seen was just like printed images. But yeah, I, I don't paint dioramas or anything like that. Articulation-wise, what's my favorite figure? Um, probably like Heat Boys. The, the mecha figures from Heat Boys. I mean, they're, they're expensive as fuck. Um, but, like, they have a solid metal body, so the articulation is, like, insanely good. You got the last Ronin for your birthday today? Well, shit. Is it your birthday today? Happy birthday, then. This last Ronin? That's a dope figure. Super dope. I have, I have the red Ronin too, and so I've swapped in some of the parts just for funsies. Um, but yeah, the Ronin line is just way fun. I was, I was going to try to do the footbot sitting on him too, but I really love the footbots. They're just cool dudes. Do you have Fish Face? I do have Fish Face um, from the 2012 series. He, he's like buried away somewhere, but I do have Fish Face. There was a time I was going to collect all the 2012 figures. It just didn't quite work out. Look at him. Just way cool. He's way off with the scabbard, though. But dope. Anyways, I should go now, folks. Thank you again so much for joining me to unbox the FootBot and hang out. Where can I get these? These ones should be at, like, I think they're on, like, websites now, like Big Bad Toy Store and whatnot, but also just, like, local comic shops. And a lot of them pop up at Target, too. Or Walmart. Um, going to buy a Last Ronin FootBot today? Right on. You're going to love it. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me, folks. Love you all. Always fun hanging out. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you later. 
Bye. Take care, Trix Art. And you can you can stare into what's you can stare into Casey's eyes as we say goodbye. Take care, everybody. Bye.